was Thurman Thomas. Thurman Thomas. Jones Show, brought to you by Johnsons of Kingfisher, your Dodge Chrysler Jeep dealer, serving Oklahomans since 1927, and by Mazio's Pizza. Now, here's your host, John Brooks. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another series of the Pat Jones Show for 1994. It's nice to be here, and Pat, uh, you know, there's always smiles. I've seen your show in the past over the years. You've always had a smile, but it's nice when you have a smile and there's a smile behind the smile. You've got a reason for it. Well, yeah, we got some things done up there, John, and, and, and before we get into the actual game part of it, I would like to welcome you. I think for, for the folks, our fans, I think certainly know who John Brooks is. And John's for the pe people in, in outside of Oklahoma. John is one of the uh, more visible and, I guess, widely recognized media types and play-by-play -play people in, in this part of the country. And again, we welcome you to this show. But, yes, we, we got some things done up there, and I think we're going to see a, a better Oklahoma State football team, one that's still got some things that we got to get done and uh, get better at. But I think, we're, I think we can make some big plays, and we've got a few more. Some of these younger guys are growing up. So um, uh, this, this could be a pretty exciting football team. All right, we're going to take 20 seconds here, okay? I got a three-part trivia question for you. I'm not a rookie, despite the fact that I look real young. I'm not a rookie, okay? First Oklahoma State coaches show, who was the coach, television show? What was the company who produced it? Who hosted it? Well, I... I uh, 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 pretty film, good one. Film, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, this film. may be a tape show, but this is live now. This is live. <laughs> Phil Cutchin, Phil Cutchin, and did, I, I'm yeah. assuming that you did it. <laughs> Very good. Okay, that's enough. That's good. Actually, it was Floyd Gass, 1971, Sportscast Productions produced that show and the Dave Smith Show, and I hosted those two. I'm not a rookie. How Welcome back. That? All right. Thank you very much. Okay. We're, uh, we're going to get down to the action, and we've got plenty of it for you. Happy opening for the uh, Cowboys, and we will uh, talk to you and show you all the things that happen when we return on the Pat Jones Show. Nice opening win, 31 to 14 over Northern Illinois. Crowd a little disappointing for them, I guess, but uh, uh, all in all, it turned out to be uh, uh, very, very happy for you. And here's a look at uh, uh, at the scene. John, we didn't really know what we were getting in, into up there. The, uh, Charlie Sadler, former OU assistant, uh, Iowa State, Missouri assistant, a great guy, good football coach. They're trying to make a big production out of this. They gave us quite a bit of money to come up there and play. You could see the parachutists and all that sort of thing going on. Uh, it cool weather, I think, which was a little bit stunning to our guys. We've been down here in a 104 degree temperature, and here's the opening kickoff. We won the toss and deferred. Uh, I, I think we got to get a little better at covering some kicks. Gilbert, their quarterback, who has got a pretty good arm, we knew coming in that they, they were pretty high on his ability to throw the football. We didn't know to what degree or how much they would attempt to do it. Here's a replay of this, and you can see them opening the game, throwing the ball. This is the the first series, trying to throw the quick stuff up in front of us. We get our hands on a couple of them there early on. This kind of stuff here is probably not going to beat you. I, somebody asked me, did this alarm you after in the, early in the ball game? No, it really didn't because it was all up in front of us and, and we're breaking around. We can run pretty good on defense and we figured that, see, right there, we almost had that one. Johnny Jones, the corner, made a good break and as things continued to unfold here even early on, uh, I, we were getting the impression from the sidelines that number one, they couldn't get in behind us unless something crazy happened or we were going to get our hands on some balls too. We slept down in there and they still hit one up front, but we were banging them around pretty good. Uh, need to tackle better here in some areas, but they didn't have much of a running game. Uh, they had lost with Sean Johnson, the nation's leading rusher a year ago. Nice job, Eric Cobbs knocking Gilbert out of bounds. They moved the ball and made some first downs. Here we run a blitz with Link Harden, 57, the linebacker. Now, that ball, we hit him, the ball comes out. I think they ruled this one down, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, that is that is what happened. They they did uh, rule it down. And I, the thing is, it sets up this next play, which in this opening defensive series for you, when 
you see this deflection right here. You've now had three nice defensive big plays with pass deflections on the first on, defensive on the, series. Right, and, and even though they had made some yards, hit some, we got our hands on, on three passes. Uh, here they punt the ball down to actually inside the 10 yard line. But we did get our hands on it. We opened the uh, the, ser the the offensive first offensive series again, trying to be just give the ball off a couple times. One to David Thompson tailback, uh, then Jeff Grenier the fullback. Third down, we try to throw a tight end delay, which you need to get a little bit better at. Now we got some. Pre here's here's Greg Ivy. His first punt, first punt uh, Division One, and and he's got a big leg. Now we had used actually, John, we had put in a, a different punt formation, which is kind of the NFL style with two detached gunners, which was a little bit new to us. Uh, we had a little bit of leakage on some on some protection, which we'll get straightened out. But Ivy is a good punter. You can say they tried to run a little option there, and we're all over it. We can still, and classically have around here, been able to run pretty good defensively, and still can maybe even a little bit better than some other years. Now here we got we deflected this ball, and Cleavon Williams, our other corner, intercepts it, run it back down to their 30. Here's the same play here. You can see uh, Langford has got him flushed out of the pocket. We had a twist on. Now we, we've got it in somebody in his face. You do this enough time, these things are going to start happening. Now Link Harden tips the ball, Cleavon Williams intercepts it, and so we've got the ball on their side of the field. But the, Four again, deflections too, Pat, in the first two defensive series. Well, for, if they're going to insist on throwing the ball that much up and short, uh, again, we're, we'll are we probably get our hands on several yeah. of them. You can see now we hit that one to, out here to Denson, who, who makes a, a nice cut. Their defensive front, I thought, was pretty good. I think we'll certainly see better, but I think we'll see worse. Uh, now here's Tony Jones comes out, throws a little sprint pass. David Thompson could not get caught and turned around. Now we give the ball off to, to Thompson on the counter play, and he explodes up inside, and it's touchdown Oklahoma State. Thompson is one of these sophomores, and I have I had, I had remarked, you see, we're pretty excited here, and that's good. Uh, same, same play again, David Thompson on the counter play. We kick them out, he cuts up inside. Wayne Watts, the tight end, big 82, got down there and got their safety knocked out of there, and now David just explodes in the end zone. But I think the strength of this football team is his sophomore class. Uh, David Thompson, Tony Jones, Chris Lofton, Javon Langford, Derek Lyman, the offensive tackle, and several other ones. That was what we were real curious to see, and these guys have improved. And, okay, now here's, they didn't have much, really, two plays basically of offense for the whole night. That was one of them where we knocked the ball up in the air. Gilbert, the quarterback, caught it, ran for about 10 yards. We got a late hit called on us. Uh, now this is the same series to come back and they, they, they mishandle the exchange. It, I thought this, this kind of thing kind of went on with them. I thought we could have had it. We're gonna get a couple more. You can see now the ball's on the turf. We got people around it, Johnny Jones, uh, big Kelvin Ingram. Now we come back. And this is actually in the second quarter now because we, we, we right. got through some things here. Right, so, so we, yeah, we've moved ahead now. here a little bit. You can see Tony Jones giving the ball off again to David Thompson. We wanted Thompson to get in a good rhythm uh, again, and, and see, see how good he can be. Well, we did put Boogie Johnson in a little bit later, but this is still Thompson here uh, running tough, uh, being explosive. He's still a young guy. Uh, there are some cuts that, that, that he needs to hit a little bit better. Okay, we come back now. Throw the ball to Derek. Uh, just, I'm sorry, Dwayne Watts, the tight end. We play both the tight ends. Okay, we're coming back. Play action. Here comes Tony. Now we're going deep. Okay, they actually had there this thing covered. It looked like we won't. We we've got to. Denson can run by most people in college football. He's a legitimate sprinter. Uh, he, he he's he's gotten better as as far as being an outside receiver. We want to do some things with him throwing deep. Tony can throw the deep ball pretty well. Again, we we threw this one. Uh, probably could have led him a little bit further. The ball went through the defender's hands. Good concentration, though, Pat. I mean, you can say it went through right. his hands, but uh, I mean, lots of guys would have dropped that ball. It well, ends up 53 yards. Well, it was. Rafael, I heard some of the remarks he made in the post game. Again, the, the ball went up. The, the kid had it played pretty good, and here it hit him right in the chest, and he's off to the races. But no, good job of Rafael Denson. You can see right here, we're, we're getting after these people yeah. pretty good defensively. Bang. Uh, James Elliott. Uh, one, one of our, our new junior college linebackers on a stunt right there. Uh, James is a, a, a kind of a stocky built guy that is extremely strong and extremely quick. Uh, here we turn him, we got him turned loose on a stunt. Okay, now we've got a twist going inside. He, he turns around, throws the ball. They got him behind us a little bit once right there, but yeah. uh, okay, now here, here we go. Here's the block. We actually did not have a punt block on. We had we were in what we call or is normally considered punt safe in that we're just going to line up in a defense, let them kick the ball, field it, threat of a fake it possibly. Javon Langford just ran inside their guy, made a great athletic looking play. 
blocks the kick. We come back, now we've got the ball down there in the field. Run, uh, there's another counter play. Run one here again to Thompson. You can see him accelerating and running tough down inside the five. Toss the ball to him on the on the classic I formation. Nice sweep. little leap over there. You bet you. He he's now 192, John. That's uh, that's that's up from 175 something uh, right. a year ago. Breaking His, tackles. That's better. right. I think stronger. He's had a great off season in the weight room. He's a good lifter. Had a great summer. As most of our guys who are around here, our strength and conditioning people, did a great job with our kids that were here over the summer. He's stronger. We come in now. It's 21 to nothing. Oklahoma State lost and Vaughn kicks it, and and we've got a pretty. We we I won't say feel comfortable about it, but uh, now they see we get him to scramble around. We miss a sack twice. He fires the ball down. Trent Fisher ran out of his shoe. They catch the ball and, and, and get off down here and now break a little draw play. Come back in here and see we got him kind of scrambling around. Throws one over to the sideline and, and, and catches it here. Okay, run the fullback inside. Don't make a great deal. Now they come back. See, we kind of miss him on a blitz there and still yep. get him pinned up. I thought we were perhaps going to get him stopped. Uh, now they come in, run an option, which we didn't know how much of this sort of thing they would do. We got pinned inside. Got to do a better job of defending this kind of stuff, particularly going into Baylor in a couple of weeks. Now they kicked the extra point. Still 21-7 to at the half. And I won't say we've got a comfortable lead, but really that one play is basically all they got done. That's exactly right, and the Cowboys uh, with a two-touchdown lead. We're going to see the second half highlights when we return in just a moment. When we say ride them, Cowboys, we mean it. Well, at Northern Illinois, Cowboys had a two-touchdown lead uh, to begin the second half, and let's get right to it, Pat. Get our decision. We take the, we take the kickoff. Uh, we actually, see, we mishandled this. There was enough, that's a little bit scary there. Uh, Rafael could not catch it clean. We come off and come out here, throw, hit a couple of passes, make a couple of first downs, actually have a pretty nice looking drive going. That was Mark Cheatwood too, who you've got back this yeah, year. Yeah, it helps us having Cheatwood back. He, uh, again, had gone to professional baseball right. a year ago about this time and back, and he's an older guy that helps us. You can see Thompson bust inside, but you know, Mark had a good ball game, actually had a catch and a fumble later on, which is a little bit uncharacteristic of him. We break that trap up there, get a holding call, uh, get, get back in here and get stopped and end up having to punt the ball later on. But uh, we had a pretty nice drive going. Again, early, important for us to kind of get a few things going, drop that ball right there. Both fullbacks had a drop. This is silly on their part. They come out yeah. here and, and, and hit Joe Jefferson and, and get a personal foul themselves. Not very smart on anybody's part. Uh, got a break, so we get the ball. Now we still get down there and get stopped. Punt it uh, way down here deep for them. And, and it was good for us, that again, that we moved the ball, uh, sent a message to them that, that we could take it and we are backed up and do a few things with it. Ivy did a nice job dropping it inside. Oh, yeah, he's a, he is a, he's a good punter, John. He's a, uh, he's a pretty accomplished guy. Again, his first ball game was Junior College All-American from Navarro Junior College in Corsicana, Texas. And it, it, he's a weapon in his own right, so we've got him backed up trying to throw out of their own end zone. He got goosey, Gilbert, the quarterback. I thought his game, his game progressed because of, of people zinging around him, uh, Langford and Kelvin Ingram. And I was going to say, the way Langford was back there, you could get a little uh, doozy. Oh, yeah, you? should have. If he didn't, he hadn't got much sense, but but he, he did. So, I mean, our, the pass rush kind of had him jumping around most of the night. And we come out here. This was a nice effort on Denver's part. They had this yeah. reverse plate, and, and Rafael just kind of exploded through them right in there. So we've got it down here. It looks like that at any point, if we can knock in a touchdown or get the probably realistically the game's out of hand. Now, that didn't occur here for a while. Good job by Rafael Denson. We have ha he got it in his hand four times in, yeah. in the game. He made some things happen. Well, this is one of the things that we had talked about all last year and really do with him because he is a big play guy that we've got to get him X number of opportunities yeah. with ball, either with a deep pass, with a reverse. I think that we've kind of said, hey, if, if he can have one play of over 35 yards, we're probably pretty good uh, offensively, which is kind of the case with him because he has got some big playability. So you can see us, we're still down here banging away, trying to run us. We've got uh, Boogie Johnson in the ball game now. Again, their defensive front uh, was not bad. I, I thought they were they were pretty good. Now, it, right here, we, Tony, I thought one, he and I think he played pretty well. He could have run the ball and gotten down there real close to a first down. Now, Lawson Vaughn comes in, and, the, and, and, and hit, that hit the upright and jumped out, which is a, a little bit uncharacteristic for him. He's going to come back and hit a 48 yarder late. Now we stop them, come back in here, and they throw. We had uh, uh, several drops. We need to do a better job of just catching the ball, uh, catching it, and we'll be a little, we'll be better off. And, and, we didn't really have a, a turnover from scrimmage other than so we fullback dropped that again, one, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. And 
uh, as far as a cheat would had a catch on a slant and got hit and fumbled the other, and that was the only turnover. Now I, we get a big punt return. Yeah, this got, got them back in the ball game again. They got by our Gunners. A uh, Patterson is good, good yeah, yeah, he, job on the cutback. He's a uh, he's a pretty talented guy. Lewis Adams, number two, is doing a nice job of, of running. And, and actually, I saw he stepped out of bounds right in there, and Trent Fisher knocks him out of bounds. They come back in and run a reverse right here. We have a blitz on. We got we didn't get lined up right and didn't have any perimeter support, and they go mm -hmm. and score. At this point, it's it's now it's 21 to 14. You're on the road, and and uh, th their crowd is getting pretty revved up. So we've got a ball game on our hands in the third quarter. Now this is where I thought that really in all phases we come back and turn the heat up on them. I think they didn't have but I think 17 yards in the entire second half and two first downs. So defensively we come in and this and, is right at the start of the fourth quarter. Okay, here we go now. Now is this okay? Andre Richardson right here. This is the, this big is the true freshman. For you. This is the true freshman from Carter High in Dallas, Texas, who is a highly recruited guy. We want to get him involved in things. We had put him in two returns earlier, and they punted short. Now, we just felt like we wanted to ease him into a few things. This guy's really going to be a good player. Mm -hmm. uh, when he, he, he's gonna, he almost scored on this. We put him in. We play him from scrimmage later on, and he almost scores a couple times, but he's really going to help his football team. So you can see now we run Thompson up inside tough. Come out, and we actually checked us something there, and Tony, with the, the mesh of the thing wasn't right, and Tony kept the ball. Nice throw and catch across the middle to the tight end, Dwayne Watts. First a lot of down. traffic. Now, he makes a nice catch. He does. And Dwayne really likes playing the game. He's, he's a guy that gets excited. Need to get big Alonzo Mays back in here at some point and get him going at tight end. Run an option with Tony. Didn't run, did not feature a lot of options. Tony ran tough then. Counter play. Thompson explodes up right inside. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Now, with a two touchdown lead, unless something crazy happens, they probably cannot beat us. And we're going to go ahead and get another. Good block. Right oh, yeah. It's, I, Derek Lyon. Uh, is, is a good football player. That's the sophomore tackle who's who's the biggest guy. He's probably the more, one of the more talented offensive linemen we've had around here in several years. Were you excited about the offensive line? Well, yeah, we've Seeing got, the we've, film and everything we've got some things that we've got to get better at. I mean, I thought we the center hoped through a couple of no-hitters, and he's a pretty good football player. Scott Waterbury, one of the tackles, turned a guy loose inside of him on a short yardage situation that, that, that we got to get better at. But I, but they played hard. I thought they played probably as hard as a, as a group, as an offensive lineman, as we've had in several years. Here's the pass rush. You can see that as, as the game progressed, we're beating Gilbert around pretty good with, with – Again, Langford, Demetrius Crowder, the junior college defensive end, who is really a, a good football player, really helps our football team. Now, what we, we got here is we've got the drive that leads to the 48-yard field goal, just to, and it's not all of the drive, right. but it's it's some picked out. Well, you see some you. things here. Jeff Grenier, the fullback, broke a trap, and, and he can get better. And here's Thompson breaking to the outside. This is this is a good run here. He just it was clogged up in the interior. He jumps outside and gets loose on the sideline. Okay, here's Boogie Johnson. He's fixing to get hurt in here someplace. He has got a broken collarbone. He's going to be gone for a while. Lawson Vaughn comes in, 48-yarder, I believe, is his career longest by yep. a yard. Now, with, with this kind of lead in the fourth quarter, they're not going to win the ball game. Andre Richardson, this is 25. Here's the one that – Chance it, to see him a couple well, of and, times. And, again, yeah. this is why we're excited with the guy. You can see he can make some things happen. He breaks right here. And another about another week, he'll run through that and score. He, he, mm -hmm. I think he surprised himself going down easy. Again, 17-point Oklahoma State victory. Our kids were excited about it here. We had a fairly good little contingent of some folks up there. We're going to the visiting to our crowd, thanking them, into the dressing room, uh, and now let's kind of get on with the rest of the season. Well, we're going to get on the rest of the season, and something that's going to be on our show all season long is a special feature about Cowboy football, either in front or behind the scenes. And Tom Dorado, when we come back, we'll have a brief visit with new OSU president, Dr. James Halligan. A little more than a month ago, Dr. James Halligan became Oklahoma State University's 16th president. The athletic experience has been, and continues to be, very special for him. The high school basketball team that I was on did uh, relatively well, and I was the coach, probably the best team that the very, very small high school ever had. And so those were memorable moments, but uh, I'm like everybody else. Uh, now that I've been lucky enough to join OSU, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat are in my heart just as they are with all the other alumni and fans, students, faculty, and staff of this institution. 
Well, I think that uh, Dr. Halligan has got the Oklahoma State community excited. He has not been on board here very long. Coming from New Mexico State, has been the president there for the past 10 years. and has backgrounds at Arkansas and, and several other very impressive institutions around the country. And we're excited about having him here. And again, I think everybody involved with Oklahoma State is certainly looking forward to, to meeting Dr. Jim Halligan. All right, we got three 20-second drills. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> for, for the countdown. Boogie Johnson. Well, out for how long? Well, I, uh, he's got a broken collarbone. That's our backup tailback. But I would imagine probably five weeks. That's a fairly severe injury, particularly yeah. for a running back because it occurs in the upper body, obviously. At least in a spot where you can at least handle it depth-wise right now. Well, we have uh, Andre Richardson. We were going to pick the pace up with him anyway, so we'll do that. John White, who has started ball games for us, is back out there. We still work Rafael Denson there and Russell Berry in there, so we've got a little bit of depth. Sophomore class, you want a lot out of them this year. How'd they do in the opener? Well, I think pretty good. Again, Tony Jones, like the rest of them, can do better. David Thompson, 147 yards, three touchdowns, can do better. Uh, Lyon Javon Langford, uh, Big 8 nominee for Defensive Player of the Week, but can do better. I think those guys are going to be good football players. Open date, what do you do? Game off the weekend, going to have five good hard days of practice in preparation for Baylor. Hopefully give them the following weekend off and let's get ready to go to Waco. That's where you're going, to Waco, and uh, hopefully the results will be the same. Nice opening game for the Cowboys, 31-14 uh, to 14 over Northern Illinois. We're back after the Baylor game on the Pat Jones Show. Thanks for watching.